So did Gene Mock and this player conspire to stop Hal McRae from winning the bang title against his teammate George Brett in the 1976 season? Well, I'm going to give you the information and you can make your own decision. Because this guy was a marginal player at best. And he be his mistake that allowed uh, George uh, Brett to have the inside of home run against the Twins. He never played another game with Minnesota. Coincidence, I wonder. But like I said, I don't know enough about this guy or Gene Mock other than being coaching Montreal if he would be racist against Hal McRae. But we'll get into this in a second. Now, the player we're talking about is Steve Bry, born Stephen Robert Bry in uh, Alameda, California. Played in MLB from 1970 through 78. He played again for the Twins, the Brewers, and the Pirates. Now, on June 6, 67, he was drafted by Minnesota Twins in the first round of the amateur draft. He signed to play in the minor leagues in the Twins organization. He made his major league debut on September 3, 1970, with the Twins at the young age of 21. He was hit as his only at-bats in his debut. That year, he had a batting average of 182 and 11 at bats. In 71, 224 and 107. The next year, he hit 241 and 253 played appearances. Bry hit 263 and 73 with 278 at bats. In 74, he won the starting center field job in spring training and hit 283 in the 448 played appearances. Also, Bry was a team Twins leader of doubles in his own season as a starter. The next year, however, he hit 252 and 246 at bats, uh, but went back to 264 with 258 in uh, the next campaign. Now, on March 21st, 77, he was traded, purchased by the Twins, by the, uh, from the Twins by the Brewers. In 77, he had 249 and 241 plate appearances. Uh, on March 30th, 78, he was released by the Brewers. Five years later, he signed with the Pirates, only to be released a few months later. In 78, he had 235 and 115 at-bats. Now, February 7th, he, uh, 79, he was signed by the Padres. However, he retired before he could play with San Diego. He had a career batting average of 258 and 2,000 at-bats uh, in six, 697 games. He drove in 193 runs, hit 30 homers, and had a lifetime fielding percentage of 991. Now, here it gets freaky. Remember what I said? He's had a lifetime fielding percentage of 991. Now, Bry again was involved in one of the biggest controversies in baseball in the final day of the 76 season. We're still talking about it. And in today's uh, multi streaming universe, he could be getting death threats five seconds after it occurred. Kansas City George Brett and Hal McRae were in a near deadlock for the American League batting title in his final at bat. Brett hit a routine fly ball to left field that Bry failed to catch, and it fell for a hit. There were accusations that Bry played it badly to deny McRae, an African American, the batting title. Within baseball circle, circles, rumors persisted that Pry didn't see McRae as an equal to Brett because Brett played the defense, whereas McRae was a DH. It was there to conclusively establish that Bry intentionally failed to retire Brett. So, but here, uh, here it gets kind of, kind of uh, uh, freaky. In a recent article on MLB.com uh, uh, news, uh, actually not recently, but last year, talked about George Brett's uh, big highlights. And what is kind of weird about this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the quintessential George Brett moments in the story, he's the only player to win batting titles in three different decades, 76, 333, 1980, 390, and 1990, 329, where he, when he also matched his career high with 45 doubles. Now, the 76 winner wasn't determined until the main contender's final at bat, uh, in a season-ending series against the Twins. Hal McRae's Brett's teammate owned a 3-3-2-6-9 average compared to Brett's 3-3-2-2-9. His last plate appearance, Brett hit a lazy fly to left fielder Steve Rye, who misplayed the ball inside the park over. McRae grounded out, which made Brett the batting champ and made McRae furious. McRae was uh, gracious towards Brett, but leveled charges of racism against Bry and Twins manager Gene Mock claiming that he conspired against him. Of course, Rod Crew had a big comment, said, I'm black as well, so I don't really get where they're coming from. Uh, what, uh, because he was, a, he was a heavy contender for the title that year. Brett played mostly third base, and, uh, uh, but McCray, again, was a, uh, a pure hitter. To basically say that George Brett was given an advantage by Bry, I don't know the player enough to, to talk about this, but the situation is like this. 
Brett's got to hit the ball to the outfield. It's got to fall a certain way, and it's got to roll a certain way inside the park home run. And we're talking, you know, uh, a field in the, uh, that day that, uh, again, you're, lo- you're looking at uh, uh, Astro, uh, uh, Astro uh, turf. Anyway, uh, now, Brett hasn't really talked about this much, and Hal hasn't talked about it as much. I don't think Gene Mock would do something like that because he played a lot with black players in Philadelphia and Montreal, especially like the year of, uh, you know, Dawson and Singleton, you know, either prospects or coming up. So, I mean, it doesn't really hold weight, but it's kind of interesting, uh, like I said, Rye, this, this player that nobody would remember in the last play ever for the team that drafted him, would do something to hurt the team and hurt his own career. I don't think that's uh, even possible. So uh, maybe maybe he didn't catch the ball, but I don't think he intentionally allowed it to go in for for hit. So just a recap of uh, Brian, ladies and gentlemen. His best campaign for a lot of people was 1974, two home runs, 41 RBIs. Uh, good with the bat, didn't strike very often, but he wouldn't walk as uh, often as well. Uh, 258, a career hitter. Uh, with uh, 30 home runs, 193 uh, RBIs, and it was a typical player numbers in a full campaign. It would be 745. I don't know why they were thinking that uh, Bry was going to be a, a good center fielder or a good outfielder for Minnesota. There was a lot of good prospects, but uh, as soon as free agency came about, he was out the door because uh, the Twins had, uh, again, uh, signed a lot of players uh, through the years. But like I said, an effective platoon player for sure, but like I said, uh, where the mistake comes in, he never he never made a mistake as a as a fielder, and I tell you, I tell you why, ladies and gentlemen, it's 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 kind of freaky how it goes about. In in, in nine seasons in the outfield, ladies and gentlemen, okay, this is the outfield, uh, twelve errors, okay, uh, eight in center field, three in left field, one in right field and 12 careers, his whole career. So something is going on here. Most years, he would never make a mistake uh, in the uh, the, out, the outfield. And, uh, you know, that's how it lands. This is a guy who had 45 assists from the outfield, a good defensive player. Again, for that to occur, and this is not like the internet where you can call up the stats right away and say, well, Fry never makes a mistake. I think he basically was going to play George Brett a certain way, and he was in a wrong position at a wrong time. And with Astro Turf, uh, or even regular turf, it can happen awful quickly. So that's the interesting story about did Steve Fry give George Brett the batting title of 76? I don't think so. But if you think otherwise, you're a Minnesota fan, let me know. Uh, I don't know if he's ever been interviewed about it, the subject, but you got to understand, if this was Aaron Judge and Vladimir Guerrero on the same team and going for the batting title, that would be pressed like crazy. But McCray and Brett at the time were in the media center of the world. Uh, for, for, for freak's sake, this week in baseball wasn't on. So, uh, But basically, my dad never liked Hal McCray because he felt that the, the cost of Reds the title in 72 because a better player, he would have been Oakland. But that's the way it goes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of the infamous George Brett Hal McCray tie for the batting title that was decided on you know, a mental miscue. If you like what we're doing here with our baseball podcast, let us know what to like, comment, subscribe, or share.